good morning. We are four days out from race day. Today I am doing a little ocean swim. We have a fantastic day today. Oh my gosh. Today's swimming is probably my strongest leg. As a swimmer growing up, I swam competitively for about 11 years. So typically in a triathlon, people struggle most on the swim leg of the race. I think it is probably gonna be my easiest <laughs> leg of the race. Yeah, nothing crazy today. Probably do a little half mile swim in the ocean. Should take about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I'm not trying to overdo it this week. Baby, you don't wanna swim with me? Sammy actually swims with me a lot. She is also a great swimmer. I started swimming um, as like a 7'8 on swim team and I went until about high school and I have some titles under my belt, I'm not gonna lie. She's like a fish. <laughs> Rory is not so much a swimmer. She does not like the water. What's up my man? How you doing? What's our saying? Oh, you take, oh I, I don't want to ruin your picture. What's our saying? Huh? What do we say? Oh, peace, brother. No, you say Let's something. Stop. You say something else. What do you pay it for? Oh, champion. Champion. There we, there go. we go. Let's go. <laughs> hey, that's your thing, man. You, you got to tell everybody. Champion. 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 <laughs> this guy's out here every morning at 6 a.m., waving his American flag around, yelling at people, champion. <laughs> Bringing positive vibes to the day. I love it. Release the beast. <laughs> That's a good girl, Rory. Okay, so how far is about a mile? Probably four or five towers. Probably. How fast do you swim a mile? <laughs> Definitely under 30 minutes. Probably like 26, 27 minutes. That's on a good pretty, day. Is that pretty fast? That's when the motors are turning and burning, baby. <laughs> <laughs> is it cold in the water? No, right now it's not very cold. No. Probably like 64 degrees, 65 degrees. But in the winter, when it's down to 57, 58, that shit is cold. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's a good girl. Hopefully no stingrays today. Hopefully no little seals. I got a little sea dog friend out there that's pretty curious and wants to come hang out with me. Don't really want any part of him. Wow, look at the freaking moon. So fun fact, I was doing an ocean swim about a year ago. When I was done, I was kind of just walking around, taking it all in, catching my breath, and I stepped on top of a stingray, and that sucker, right in the back of my foot. I didn't know that I stepped on anything. I just felt something in my in the back of my foot, and I was like, oh, I thought I maybe stepped on something, and I was being a wimp, and the pain went away for like 10 seconds, and then it started to hurt again. I guess my adrenaline was going, and it got out of the water really quick. And as soon as I got out of the water, I saw a bunch of gooey blood gushing out of the back of my foot. It was gnarly. I ran up to the lifeguard tower and I was like, yo, look at my foot. He goes, oh shit, you got stung by a stingray. Like, what do I do? I was starting to get more and more intense on the pain. He was like, where do you live? And I was like, I live up there on top of the incline. And she goes, you better get some hot water on it and you better run fast. I was like, oh shit. So I was running up the incline, bay, poison of the stingray is getting into my bloodstream quicker and quicker and it's like crawling up my leg into my growing and I am like turning white, I'm seeing stars, I'm like freaking out about to call 911, I'm like 100 yards from home still in so much pain and then Sammy dragged me home and I put my foot under scorching hot water in the bathtub, it kills the poison immediately. One of the worst pains of my life, I sat in that tub for like three hours, I didn't even get out, I was in so much pain. Now I have a little bit of a fear of stingrays every time I go into the ocean. I'm slowly but kind of surely getting over that fear. These are the best headphones, not headphones. What? These are the best goggles. Near the water. <laughs> I was telling you about being 
stung by a stingray. Um, when it's stingray season, they tell you to do the stingray shuffle when you get in the water. And you just <laughs> shuffle your feet to scare them off. is swimming right now and I just wanted to say that I am so insanely proud of him. When we met two years ago, he started training for triathlon. The gyms were closed, but he could still run, hop on a bike and swim in the ocean. So he started training really hard. And then because of COVID, all the races got canceled or rescheduled. And so now I know that he is so excited to finally get back into doing triathlons. Um, he his last one was when he was 11 and I know that he's downplaying his excitement so I am being excited for him <laughs> I am so proud it's so fun seeing him train and be so into this race I cannot wait to cheer him on on Saturday and the fact that his dad and my dad they're racing together is just it's insane so stay tuned for this week. We have a couple days ahead. Our families are gonna come in. We're gonna show you guys the race. I just wanted to say, without him knowing, he's swimming. I love you, baby. And I am so proud of you. And I can't wait for Saturday. You're gonna kill it. <laughs> All right, he is coming in. He's done, that was so fast. <laughs> My thing's in kilometers now, so I don't know how <laughs> part that. Water's so warm. I was getting heated in there. Yeah. How do you? Crushed it. Good job, baby. That was nice. I was like 100 yards at least. Yeah, you're apart. Out there, and I could see straight to the bottom. Oh, wow. I'm ready. You ready? No, copyright issues. <laughs> <laughs> couple tips for people wanting to get out in the ocean and swim more. Number one, just go slow. Go as slow as you can, focus on your breathing, lengthening your strokes. You don't want to get out there, go too hard too soon and get tired. Just go slow, take your time and just enjoy it. Number two, when you're breathing, you don't want to be breathing into the wave. So if the waves are coming this way, you don't want to be breathing like this and taking a wave to the face. I like to take my breath on this side just so I don't have a wave smacking me in the face every time I come up for air. Number three, don't really have to kick much. When you're in the ocean, your arms are working, the waves are kind of pushing you, just do a little flutter with your leg. It also expends more energy when you're kicking a lot. So save your energy, go slow, lengthen your stroke, and you're gonna crush it. Also, make sure you have a good wetsuit. My suit is two times you. These suits are a game changer, just 10 times more buoyant out the ocean. You won't sink. Get a good suit, get some good goggles. You wanna be as comfortable as you can out there. You don't want water getting into your eyes. Be as comfortable as you can out there, and your swimming's gonna be that much easier. Hope this helps. All right, guys. Love y'all. Over and out. Until next time.